So we're at the end of unit two now, and this activity doesn't necessarily cover any new content, but it's rather a review of all the different types of pictorial sketches we did and multi-view sketching in unit two. So in this activity, then, I just want to kind of go over the procedure for each of the different parts so you're clear on that, and then we'll talk about what we're submitting on the LMS. So starting with the first couple of these, what they're giving you is they're calling basically like the, the cube net that we use to do the glass box. The idea is to take this object, if I were to uh, kind of cut that object out and fold it up, I could make an enclosed three-dimensional object. So your goal and your task is to draw what that would look like as an isometric. So we'll use isometric graph paper to draw what this would look like as an enclosed three-dimensional object. It's the same process for number two. Again, if I were to cut this out and fold it in a certain way, what would that object look like? Draw that as isometric. Anytime we do isometrics or pictorials, make sure that you're adding the tonal shading on those drawings. Question three is looking for a uh, one point perspective. So again, with one points, remember that you're starting with a front view of the object, looking directly at the front, and I would use this as my front view. All of these would trail off to one vanishing point, and then all you have to do is estimate where the depth is going to be to complete the object. This has uniform thickness, so it's going to make it simple. The back of this object and the front are the same. You just have to estimate what the depth is going to be. So this would be a one point perspective. We'll add the tonal shading to that. We're going to do an isometric view based on this multi-view drawing. So based on what the top, front, and right view of this object look like, you're going to create an isometric drawing. So go directly on the isometric paper. A two-point perspective of this object here. Remember that when we do two points, that we're going to deal with the front edge rather than a front surface. So you can either deal with this edge as your starting point or this edge. Make sure you pick two vanishing points. And if using these sizes would help you out rather than using the grid spacing, you can do that as well. And then finally, another kind of pattern. If I were to cut this out, fold it together, what kind of shape would that make? Again, this will be drawn as an isometric and we'll add the tonal shading. There are also uh, four conclusion questions that can need to be answered. This can be done on the activity itself or you can do it in the notebook. All of the work is going to have to be added to the notebook. So if you're using the isometric paper, make sure we're cutting Make sure we're adding that to the notebook before we submit these to the LMS. We're going to work on this today, uh, tomorrow, and probably on Friday. Uh, this will finish out Unit 2, which means that we will take our quiz for Unit 2 on Monday.